And now in sports, Nigeria's Toby Amoson and S.A. Brume have set a new Commonwealth Games record at the 2022 Commonwealth Games in Birmingham, United Kingdom. Amoson clinched the gold in the women's 100-meter hurdles after crossing the finish line in 12.30 seconds. This comes barely two weeks after the 25-year-old became the first Nigerian athlete to win a World Athletics Championship gold as she stumped to victory in the women's 100-meter hurdles in Oregon. Brume, on the other hand, had a no jump on her first attempt but bounced back right away to jump 6.9 meters to take the lead in the final and set a new game's record. However, on her very last attempt, Brume jumped 7 meters for another game's record to become the first woman to jump that far in the history of the Commonwealth Games. Now joining us now for news to talk more on this is GJ Olani Ross, sports analyst. Well, thank you very much for joining us on the news. Now, the performance of the athletes so far has put Nigeria, uh, you would say, on the global map. And would you say this achievement was expected? And what would you attribute to the successes of the athletes so far? All right. Thank you very much for having me on the show, on the news, rather. Yes, um, of course, if you see some... Um, so if you look at some of the, the antecedents of some of the athletes that have won um, the medals at this Commonwealth, it won't come as a surprise to you because uh, well, it didn't really come as a surprise to some of us who have followed uh, some of their uh, careers. And um, uh, for example, if you look at the, the wrestling, um, uh, for example, uh, like... Um, uh, someone like uh, Odron Ayuade Kuroye, um, um, Toby Amoson, Blessing Oboro Dudu, uh, this, uh, this, and a couple of those athletes that have won, uh, that won gold, some of them are, are, are repeating the feats they achieved um, last time around. Well, for example, uh, someone like uh, Ade Kuroye won gold in 2014, 2018, and she's winning another one. Um, same for Esa Brume. She won in 2018, and she, she's winning. Uh, also now, again, repeating it. Um, Tosi, Amusa, so Toby, rather, Toby Love Amusa also won a uh, gold medal in 2018, and she's repeating this feat. So for some of them, you could see that they have, uh, they could, you could, you could uh, see that they have this trajectory, uh, which they started maybe in two, three editions ago, so they are coming to reinforce the fact that they are a force to reckon with. And uh, I think for uh, kudos also must also go to um, everybody that has played their part from uh, the athletes to uh, the Ministry of Sports that has played their own part too, and uh, also to uh, some corporate bodies too that have supported the athletes. Uh, most of these athletes, uh, I'm, I, I, I'm aware that uh, they benefit from one fund or the other. They benefit from um, sponsorship from some corporate bodies as well as uh, some um, finance model put together by uh, the sport ministry. So I think all this thing is an aggregate of uh, what has contributed to uh, the achievement recorded by uh, mm -hmm. the athletes at this Commonwealth Games. And uh, for Nigeria to have won 12, this is another new one for the country as a whole. Uh, the last uh, uh, we, the country has never won up to 12 gold medals, and we are winning. Uh, Nigeria is oh, winning 12. This is massive, I must say, oh, for all the right country. Now, uh, GD Olani, I'm afraid that's how much we can take on the news. Well, sports analyst GD Olani, thank you for joining us on the news and for your contributions.